You've been dreaming of this moment since you were a little kid. What's it like that it finally came true? <laughs> oh, it's awesome, you know. Uh, to be able to say I'm a, I'm a Trojan and, and have, have a snap under my belt in the Coliseum, I mean, is there, is there anything more special? You know, it's just, it's awesome. It's uh, something that I know I speak for all the Trojan nation and, and all my teammates and myself that we're just going to remember for the rest of our lives. I know Coach was trying to get you in earlier. What did he say to you at halftime? Well, he just said, you know, um, you know, I'm sorry, because you in there second quarter, Jake, just stay ready for the second half. I said, all right, you know, I, I, uh, I understand, of course, you know, we're, we were in a dogfight. And uh, so it was awesome. Um, and, and it was, I, I wasn't sure it was going to happen. And sure enough, Mar Mar Marvell took back the, uh, the pick to the house. And <laughs> so all of a sudden I was like, am I, like, am I going in right now? White comes up to me. He's like, are you ready? Are you ready? I'm, I was like, um, yes. <laughs> I was like, uh, and so, uh, they called timeout so I could get a few snaps because I wasn't completely warm. Um, got two snaps and then just ran on the field. And from there, it's just, uh, again, it was, it, was, it was almost a peaceful moment, to be honest. You know, I, I wasn't feeling too anxiety. It was, it was fast. You know, the ref backed up and we were ready to go. And it just was, you know, something that I could just imagine uh, White and I doing on, on any given practice day. So at, at that moment, it was, it was cool. But everything up to the, yeah, it was was very kind of excited and anxious as when am I going to get in there and you know everything is going to go down. Yeah, I was sitting with your parents most of the game and we decided to come down. Right. Right, and then of course it happens and you go in and your parents are going crazy and we miss them going crazy, but they love that for you. What does that mean to you to do that for them? You know, um, I, you know any any family, uh, you know any parents that have had their had their child go through cancer or go through a traumatic experience like that and then you know see their see their child go blind. You know, I, I know that. Um, it, you know, I know that it's, it's it's hard on them, and I just when I was 12, I, I really wanted to make a decision that you know I don't want I don't want them to be more agony of me putting you know feeling sorry for myself and not thriving in life. I think that would make it a lot harder on them. So I wanted to thrive in life, and so I, I hope that when they see me out there, they just can be all happy as all get up and just so proud. And um, you know, again, I, I I know that that there's been a lot of hurt and uh, just to see their baby boy go through a lot of stuff. And so I hope these moments just out, outweigh those. Could you visualize it? You've seen this so many times. What did you see in your head? Um, you know, I actually when I was running out there, I did I did kind of see green grass a little bit, and you know, just everything. <laughs> I, was, I was I was listening for the sound, but you know, when I was, when I was down there, I really was just you know tapped into my field because you know yeah. that's, that's my technique and feel. That's what's going to get a good.